Hi, I'm Brian Esser from How To Automotive, and in today's video, I'm going to take you step by step through the process of installing vinyl decals on your Jeep Wrangler. So come with me. Okay, so some of the things you're going to need to install your um, your uh, decals on your hood is some masking tape, a squeegee of some sort. This is a, uh, a body filler or a bondo spreader that I'm going to use to help get the air bubbles out. You're going to need a tape measure to measure a few things to get it laid out right. Uh, you may or may not need a exacto knife or a razor blade such as this here and a pair of scissors We got a quick tip before you go out there and start putting the, uh, the vinyl wrap on is to do this One of the first things you want to do when you get your vinyls just before you go to install them is get them out and unroll them and lay them out and let them sit for a few hours Maybe even put something on top of them to uh, help get the uh, the curl out of them so when you go to install them it doesn't try to curl up on you as uh, nice and easy to install but before we do any of that installation the first thing we need to do is clean the area and get as much of the wax or, or sealants that you may have on your paint surface and we need to get that off um, so I'm gonna wash just this area here on the on both sides of the vehicle get that prepped and uh, I'll give you some details on doing that So after uh, rinsing it off, I'm going to wipe down the area real, real clean. The car wash I'm using is made by Chemical Guys and it's designed to uh, strip the wax and, and, uh, and uh, sealants off the paint for uh, prep work. So if you notice, I'm also washing the car in straight lines versus a circle. So if you do circles like this, you're actually inducing swirls into your paint. And, uh, and it's hard to buff those out and, and difficult to get that out. But if you do it in straight lines, it may still put uh, uh, marks in your paint, but they're in a straight line and it's harder to see with the eye and easier to buff out when they're in a straight line. So if, when you're cleaning your vehicle, if you wash and dry in a straight line, you'll reduce the swirls on your vehicle and your paint will look better for a lot, more, for a lot longer. I will put a link for the car wash soap that I'm using in the description. It's called Clean Slate by Chemical Guys. It's designed to remove the wax. Also, when you dry it off, you want to use a, a microfiber cloth, a clean one. Make sure it's nice and clean and dry the surface. And uh, that way you don't put those scratches and swirls in your paint. Now we're going to work on laying out our graphic. So I like to just eyeball it, kind of get that eyeball look where you want to go front back like that but uh, once you kind of get an idea what you're going to do is take a, a piece of masking tape and i just used a little you know half inch or one inch uh, masking tape here and we're going to put a couple pieces on here we're going to put one on the on the end hot rodders there I like how they do that in the residential area okay so now we got our tape on here so now we're just gonna eyeball it with the Jeep this is gonna be preference all preference here anyways so you kind of just lay it out the way you like it and once you get it where you like it you can uh, put, put it down I like that right there. I think that looks good. I might adjust it a little bit. I might play with this a little bit. That's the thing is you can peel the tape off and adjust it. And this is all up to you and how you want it to look. So I think I'm gonna go with that. So now that I got this pretty much where I want it, I think I like that, exactly like that. I'm going to take a longer piece of tape, like this. I'm going to go right in the center of the decal. Put that there, go across, and go right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish out my measurements and jot that down. Before you make that final you know, position, you, this is where you, you're going to live with it. You know, I recommend you stand back a couple feet and look at it. And uh, if, once you're happy with it, now you can take your measurements from the side to the side 
to the bottom here. You might want to do it in a couple spots, like one here, one here. Measure it all out. That way you can duplicate the exact same scenario on the opposite side. So, standing back and I, I think I like this. So we named our Jeep Slickstone, and uh, basically that's a combination of my last name and my girlfriend's last name. Since this is our project we're doing together, so we came up with the name Slickstone to name the Jeep. All right, so I'm gonna quickly measure this real quick. I think I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna go with one and a quarter. Write that down, one quarter. We're going to go exactly one inch here. Go one inch. And then uh, measure from the back to the cowling. So we got two and a half inches. Two and a half. Kind of draws a little decal. And then from here on the front, we got, I'm gonna go with that body line right here instead of the hood latch, a little easier to read it. So, and that's exactly four inches. So I'm gonna put that down right here. So now I can duplicate this on the opposite side. Now we're ready to uh, install the, the actual decal. So what I'm gonna do is peel up this end first, peel it back about 50% right up to our tape line there. Get our other supplies here ready so I got my razor blade if I need it. Now, I'm gonna start in the corner here. So the decal is sticking to the backing plate here so I'm gonna have to use my thumb here. I'm gonna go at angles so that it comes off nice and evenly. Okay, so I got it peeled 50% off. Now I'm gonna stick it back. I'm gonna use the scissors here. And cut off the uh, scrap. Now I'm gonna pull it tight at the corners. Lay the decal down. Now we're going to use a squeegee here. And I'm going to make sure you leave the backing on when you're doing this. That way you don't scuff your paint or scratch your paint with the, with the squeegee. And just work the decal into the paint. Use your fingers. You want to get any air bubbles out. Now we're going to do the same thing with the opposite side here. So now I'm going to peel it back. Okay. Here we go. So pulling that out, make sure there's no wrinkles. So if if the if you get it off to the left or right, you'll see it. It'll wrinkle. So if you pull it tight where there's no wrinkles in in the decal, now you can lay it down and work it in. tapes off and we're ready to uh, peel off the final layer here and reveal our, our decal. So I'm gonna just start here in the corner. And 
being careful to, not to peel off the decal off the, the vehicle. Work out any bubbles. You don't want to just rip this off because it'll peel this, the decal off. You just want to go slow. I got an air bubble here and I'll show you how to get those out in a second. So the, on just one letter I got a pretty good air bubble here. So I'm gonna use my, if you have an X-Acto knife, you just poke the tip of it right in there. So right there is a pretty good bubble. And I'm just gonna poke a tiny little hole in this decal. And that'll allow me to work the bubble out. And just like that, the bubble is disappearing. Take your time and work it out. And there it is. Now we're going to duplicate the exact same process on the other side. The only difference is, is when we lay it out, we're going to use our measurements that we did to measure it from the from the body lines that we chose. So I chose to do it from the bottom of the decal to here, from the bottom of the decal here, from the decal here, then the decal there. So that I wrote those measurements down. So we're gonna do the exact same process on the other side and just take our time. So this one was on the outside. So we're gonna get this from two and a half inches. So we're gonna put two and a half inches here and we're pretty close. So I just need to move this like a millimeter this way. So I did move it a little bit. And I'm happy with that. So now we need to get this uh, four inches exactly. So this should be, and it is exactly four inches. So now I need to get my height here. So th uh, this is kind of reversed. Uh, how I, So this needs to be one inch. So now I'm exactly one inch, exactly four inches, and exactly two and a half inches so now I just need to get my height here which is one and a quarter inch so we're definitely going to be lowering this down a lot so that's one and a quarter there so now that I moved everything around I'm going to double check my measurements again which is right at two and a half I'm liking it so now I'm pretty stoked with that position so now what I'm gonna do is put my tape in the middle all right so now I'm gonna start at this end here and just like we did the opposite side we're gonna peel it back and, and stick it
I'm Brian Essek from How To Automotive. I hope you found this video helpful. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, encourage you to subscribe, invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again for watching.